Pro disc golfers switching manufacturers used to mean very little to me, but Eagle going to MVP changes that. We now have three top 20 pros who have switched to the same manufacturer within about within a four year period. That gives us reasonable time frames to look at data to see if it actually changed their games. Let's dive into it. Okay, first off, we now have three years of James Conrad throwing MVP. We can compare that to th his previous three years at Innova. We only have one year of Simon uh, throwing MVP, so that sample size is a lot smaller. We can compare it to his Gismania stats still. It just isn't as strong of a correlation. What I wanna look at here is mostly not wins and losses necessarily you can look at average finish and those things because they i mean those things would matter but what i wanted to look at is does the discs change how you play the game because if the discs can give you an advantage in an area of your game whereas a different manufacturer can't that can actually impact decisions not just going because you like their marketing team or your buddies there so Let's dive into the stats. I'm gonna pull up a couple of different couple of different tables showing what I was able to find out. Uh, all these, I pulled off a of U-Disc and we're gonna start with average finishes between Simon Lazat and Conrad. Simon's was better with MVP than it was at Discmania. He did have a couple of weird years with Discmania with injuries, travel, those things. So it's hard to compare. It's only a two spot difference. So it's pretty minimal. Um, hard to say that the discs were a reason for that increase. Conrad on the other hand was with enough for a very long time and he actually dropped six spots over the last three years in his average finishes. He was averaging 14th, now he's down to 20th. He's also had less wins, less top threes, less top tens. Um, so like switching to MVP, he had the holy shot, but his game, his finishes have decreased and that could be for a number of reasons. It could be the discs. It could be the rising competition. It could be, he just has, doesn't have the drive that he used to. I'm not exactly sure, but we do see a decrease from his time at Innova to his time at MVP. But again, that's not necessarily one of what I wanted to look at. I wanted to look at how their game, their, how they changed their game between the two manufacturers. So this next one is the kicker. Here we go. So I colored it just to make it simple. Not everybody likes numbers. I know you like colors. So here we go. Simon Lazat, fairway hits, improved with MVP. Conrad, same thing. Parked, C1. C2 and Rig, all decreased going to MVP for Simon and Conrad. C1X putting increased with going to MVP. Simon, Conrad, same thing. It's the same across the board. OB throws per event, both improved. Now, they improved and, de and, and regressed in different quantities, of course, but it's wild to me that the exact same stats improved and decreased and regressed for both of these athletes. They don't play the most similar style game. So like for them to both have this type of impact makes me think that MVP has good drivers and good putters. Like that's what it says to me. Or again, it could just be Simon hasn't gotten into his discs yet. Conrad's is a little bit more set in stone. Like this is his game. He's had three years with these discs. Like. These are solid stats. Simons could change after this year. Uh, we will look into it again next year with Eagle stats. Um, so I'm very interested to see if Eagle also follows this same trend. If it does, then we can, I mean, kind of say that if you switch to MVP, you can expect fairways to go up, OB shots to go down, putting C1 putting to increase, but other aspects of your game to decrease. Like the fact that these two are correlated so closely is the start of a very interesting um, conundrum for manufacturers and pros. Because when you look at these, like this matters. Hitting fairways matters. And it matters to manufacturers because 
let's look at James Conrad numbers because he had a sharp decrease in his putting is in his circle two putting going from Innova to MVP. Now that was a big part of his game. If he was able to throw MVP fairways and still putt with what he was doing at Innova, that's a that could change the game for Conrad. I think and this is where I think it's the start of what we will end up seeing in a lot of pros going open bag because they will be able to tell that they putt better from circle two with a certain manufacturer or they they putt in general better with a certain manufacturer versus their fairways with a different manufacturer their drivers their mids like so uh this is just the start uh i want to get into one little thing just a little tidbit of where eagle would be if he was to follow these similar trends um this is what it would look like if eagle followed the same trends as simon and conrad he would have for the season, 77% fairway hits. That would be top 15 in the Disc Golf Pro Tour. He would regress in parked C1, C2, but his C1X would go up to 91%, which would be number two, just behind Marweed, just in front of Proctor. And like C2 putting going down doesn't actually matter for like 30% is a great number to be at. We can still see a phenomenal season from him. And I can't wait to see the numbers at the end of the year. I can't wait. It's going to, I don't know. It's, I'm very excited. So this is the start of a very big project and I'm very interested to see where this goes. If changing manufacturers actually carries weight, um, then we could easily see manufacturers die out quickly because if people are going to your manufacturer and throwing the disc worse, Nobody's gonna want to go there. I'm sorry. Like I said, this could have big, impl big implications on how the how disc golf manufacturers are set up. So, um, kind of a different video for today. I, this is just something I thought of yesterday with everything going on. Um, if this is the type of content that you are interested in, deep dive of stats of disc golf pro tour events and and athletes, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of geeky about all of the numbers. I love this stuff. Um, it is hard for me to sometimes get across without being too heavy on the jargon and the numbers. Um, so if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will answer anything I can. Uh, again, this is, I'm still learning a lot of this, but, and diving into the numbers myself. So, uh, I will do my best. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. See you next time.